Melissa here and welcome back to Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Look what we have here. This is my new baby. This is meet William. This is William. He is six weeks old. He's a dwarf lion head rabbit. He is absolutely gorgeous. And I put some treats for him on his toy thing because he was underneath his hideout. He figured out his hideout, which is back there under that red bowl, and he likes to get in there. It's a place for him to, you know, go hide out when he wants to sleep or whatever. So, um, we got him this week on Tuesday evening. Paul and I drove an hour and 15 minutes each way to pick him up. Uh, I believe where we went was Westminster, Ohio. It was past Batavia and past Eastgate. Like I said, an hour and 15 minutes from Lebanon. It was in Adams County. Okay. And um, when we first brought him home, luckily we had a playpen that Peanut sometimes uses, a soft-sided dog playpen, where um, we could keep him, because originally we were going to pick him up Friday, which today's Saturday, so initially we were going to pick him up yesterday, but we were having such nice weather that we wanted to pick him up early, and we asked the people if we could, and they said yes. So... He has, this is his um, deluxe habitat that you see. Paul picked that up for him. It is very, very nice. It's an extra large deluxe habitat. It is, um, I believe it's 48, point, 48 and a half inches long and 20 some inches wide and 20 some inches tall. It has, you can't see it, but at the top, it has a domed top, and um, there's two separate entrances. You can get access to him through the top, and then right over here, it's a little more difficult. They have to make it a little more difficult to use because they don't want the rabbit to figure it out. It's a sliding glass door, so I can get him this way. <clears throat> Now, unfortunately, the table that he's on right now that we were using, um, and we just got this, this um, cage on Friday. It did come in. My husband had to yell at some people to make it happen, but it was delivered on Friday. So the table that I put this on, I noticed that I could not see William when I sit on the couch and I want to be able to see my bunny because it's calming to watch him and I talk to him so I happened to find a, a lower TV table it's a nice table um, I found it on marketplace it was a table from Ikea I, the, we got it for $25 and it's it's only I think like 14 inches tall but it's long so I'm super excited that we, we picked it, that up today, Paul and I did. So that's going to be William's new table. So I will be able to see him really well. We have an anti-skid mat underneath. So, But the, the table is longer than his um, habitat, which is what I was looking for. And um, we're being very, very slow about introducing... Um, the dogs and the cat. The lady who we got him from did say he is used to being around dogs and cats. She had many cats. So, um, um, I took a video. I haven't put it up yet. We will. We wanted to do this one first, this introduction. But we've when he was in the playpen, the soft-sided playpen, that was really good because it had all these mesh windows where he is very curious 
of the other pets. Now, he, he's already been introduced to Ivy. Ivy is not a, a uh, mean cat at all, so she didn't have any issues with him. She was interested in him, and he was interested in the cat. So there was no issues with Ivy. In fact, Ivy, when he was in his playpen, would love to just, just look in at him for, for a long time in the evening. He's been introduced to Peanut. Peanut actually wanted to play with him. And I just have to be careful, um, like when I'm holding William, because I do groom him, I have to let Peanut know that he's not being, uh, you know, I include Peanut. Like I'll be brushing William, and then I'll say, Peanut, let Mommy brush your hair. Even though Peanut doesn't need to be brushed, but William does. So I just have to make sure that Peanut feels included, and then he won't get, you know, jealous. He's been introduced to Bella. Now, Bella did good when it was just Peanut, but Bella is a follower. So, like, when, when Finn gets playing too rough with the kitty, she, like, kind of joins in. So I am going to have to watch her um, to make sure that, you know, she wouldn't do that with him. She did not try to hurt him because um, we had William down on the floor with blankets for his floor time. Sammy was there, I was there, Ivy was there, Peanut was there, and Bella. And then I think we eventually brought out, um, did we bring out Emma? Yeah, we did. Did I? Um, yeah, brought out Emma. Mostly her time was with Ivy. Peanut, and Bella. Um, Finn will be the very last one that gets um, introduced to William because, as you know, Finn's a Pomeranian, and he is a puppy, so he is very, very hyper. Um, so we're taking this very seriously and very slow, so don't anyone worry. We're, we do not want William to feel uncomfortable or threatened or whatever so we're being very responsible and very careful that we're taking it very slow introducing him to everyone um, in, uh, in the video that I took yesterday you would have thought we were killing Finn in the kitchen he was having such a fit crying and carrying on and whining because he was being left out but like I said we have four dogs and a cat so I want to make sure that we take it slow for William. Um, did I don't remember if I told you he's six weeks old. He's totally weaned, according to the lady. So um, we bought him um, his Timothy Hay. As you can see, his cage right up there in the middle of the two bowls is his um, thing that holds his hay. His pellets are in this. That's his water dish, the, the gray one that we bought. This cage came with a water bottle, but everyone loves the cage, but they gave the water bottle a very bad rating, saying it was crap. So I didn't want to use it. So we, he has, since I've had him, he's been drinking out of bowls. And, um, you know, we've got all these animals, so I'm constantly buying um, bowls. So we had plenty of bowls to choose from. But what's neat about this bowl on here, this locks into place. Because, let me tell you a funny story. I don't remember what morning it was. I think it might have been Thursday morning. Paul told me that um, William was being naughty. And he, um, he literally figured out the... I had a bone shaped. It was, a long, it was bigger than he was. It was a long silicone mat shaped as a bone but it had um, it had these two metal bowls that sat down into the silicone and I thought that was best for him because he's a young rabbit and it was lowest to the ground so I chose that one to use didn't think you know anything of it he was eating and drinking out of it well he's starting to feel more comfortable so he oh okay thank you Paul yeah 
it's a little discolored from the dishwasher, but, oh, how am I going to show it to them? You can see it right here. See this? It's discolored from the washing machine, uh, the dishwasher. This is what we were using, but see how here. this bowl See how, oops, sorry. Oh, yep, I guess. Anyhow, that's what we were using. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Come back out. That's the bowl we were using, which was working good for him at first. Um, but rabbits are smart. See, he went to his hidey spot. I hope he comes back out so he'll finish his treats. Come on, sweet baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, chicken shaped she was one was a chicken and one was a waffle there you go all right baby i'm sorry he'll come back out um So I'll shut that later. I don't want that noise to scare him. But um, what was I saying now? Um, oh, the bowl. What he did it was so funny. William took the metal bowl that was holding his hay, totally got the bowl, the silver bowl out, and then pushed the hay into the concave of the, in the silicone part of the dish. Then he went over and proceeded to try to do the same thing with the water dish and then ended up spilling a bunch of water. Um, but can you believe that? I mean, rabbits are supposed to be really intelligent. So, um, so anyhow, this is the setup we've got him. We knew that when we ordered this habitat, it was gonna come with you know the thing for the hay and a and a dish for his food and then the water bottle but um he does really good oh you see that that's your chicken that's your um loofah it's made out of loofah that's the chicken part of your chicken and waffles um emma please stop but as you can see he's got tons of toys and tons of things to play with and what's um, interesting is a lot of this stuff for them is meant to be chewed on. You can't see it, but there is a, a uh, hay mat um, at the very opposite end. Actually, it's right behind where you can see his butt. It's a nice size mat, and that's made for him. He could sit on it, and then he can also chew it. But um, that's a place that we bought him right there. And um, <laughs> he really enjoys everything that we've bought for him, which makes me happy. But he's very cute. And we even bought him a uh, edible tunnel. Yeah, see, you can see it right here. See this? It's a tunnel and it's edible. Um, we'll keep and use the tunnel in the playpen because um, he has the hide the hideout in there. He loves running through this tunnel thing. But and we also bought a um, another play area for him. But, see, here's the problem we were running into with the soft-sided playpen, that when Finn would kind of jump up on it, it would 
push the walls in and we didn't want to frighten William. So we realized that's not a good option if, if, the, if the dogs can do that. But we were only using that until his, this habitat came in. And see, it's got a little ramp there. It's funny, he, he'll try to stretch sometimes and reach his stuff. Other times he'll actually get up on that ledge. But it keeps him active and he loves the hideout area. But we are ordering him a, it's already been ordered. We're just waiting for it to come. It's a, in fact, it's neat. It's these clear panels of squares. And then you can basically make the shape of your habitat however you want it. And you can even stack two of them on top to make it higher, which is what we're gonna do, because we don't want the dogs to be able to jump in there. So we bought that, and then we bought a waterproof mat, mat that we're gonna use underneath of it. So he's got all kinds of things coming where he's gonna have plenty of room to run around. Oh, he's drinking right now. Oh, look at him. <laughs> and um, we do let him have floor time. Um, yeah, and holding time and grooming time. Um, he is a young baby, so keep that in mind. And uh, we certainly would never, we never, ever will let him be with the dogs unsupervised. It's always supervision. In fact, when he was in the playpen, when we were gone, we would um, lock the dogs out of that room so they wouldn't jump on the thing and scare him. Um, Ivy's never tried to jump on top of him or anything. Like I said, she's been content just to look through the windows of the thing, so. So we're taking it very slow, but he's happy. Uh, and I know he's happy because um, rabbits do these certain things that let you know they're happy, where I've got a video uh, I'll be putting up where he hops in the air and kind of does a twist. He's been doing that. He's been a lot more relaxed um, when he's sleeping, so that's another good sign because there's... You can tell a lot they were saying from your rabbit by how they sleep. And um, he's been sleeping more with his legs more relaxed and out. He hasn't been sleeping like the first time where... He was in the mode where he could like jump and run away if he had to. So um, later today after dinner, I'm gonna, when he's on his new table, I'm gonna get in there and clean the, his cage out again. I don't have a lot of the, um, be the bedding in there. You know, the uh, litter is what I'm trying to say because I plan on cleaning it every single day. So I thought it would be a total waste to like put tons of litter in there when I was uh, just gonna be cleaning it every day. But you can see his little poops. They're all those little balls. Um, and then if he pees somewhere, I'll take a little bit of the litter and sprinkle over the wet spot so it doesn't like get dirty doesn't get him dirty or anything but I love him already he's super cute we're gonna be checking about um, with uh, two vets we have in mind about um, getting him neutered because I would like to get him a playmate but I read, oh, and my husband took me to the bookstore and I picked out three rabbit books. So I'm reading, <clears throat> reading about them. And um, I can't have two unaltered males because they could fight with over territory. And <laughs> what they do is very like, oh my gosh. Uh, when they fight, they like rip the other's testicles off. Sounds very brutal. Um, so, I'm you know, I would like to get him neutered so that um, down the road, a couple months, 
um, getting him a playmate, possibly. So he had a sibling who was a girl, but I didn't want to. I want to enjoy him, and I didn't want to bring her home too because then you know they'd start breeding, and I don't want to be overwhelmed at first. I'd like to enjoy him, you know, for a while before I do something like that. I don't think I'd ever want to go into breeding, so I I didn't want. I told her no, thank you, but no thank you. Um. So, I just love his markings. They called him Mustache because of uh, his markings, but I call him William, and we've been calling him William. Except for me, I walk in, I keep calling him Henry for some reason. For some reason, Paul keeps wanting to call him Henry. I'm not sure why he keeps get that stuck in his head. I'm not quite sure. I'm old. <laughs> see it yeah he has a salt lick um, it's up here by the the mat that you can't see but he does have a pink Himalayan salt lick he really likes this hanging thing here and uh, I'm not throwing all of his toys in there because they say that you should rotate them that rabbits can get bored so I'll you know weekly switch things around. Yeah, that's the salt lick. So. Okay, everyone. I just wanted to um, make this video introducing you to the newest member of our family. And we are definitely going to have videos on here of William, maybe even daily. I've already taken a lot of videos because he's so freaking adorable. And um, so you can expect to see a lot of videos with William. So I hope everyone's doing well. And uh, yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful um, Saturday and tomorrow is going to be the very last day of February. Okay, everyone. Bye for now. I put some rabbit forage mix salad in there. Market medley. And we put some Timothy hay in there. And he has a Himalayan salt block right there. You can hang when his cage comes. And he's got a veggie wedge. Chewy thing. Fun chew. Naturally crispy loofah. It's perfect to chew. Nutritious alfalfa hay is delicious and healthy for small pets. They don't recommend him eating alfalfa hay for the big bunch, but she said on this little chew thing wouldn't hurt. Safe food grade coloring. Promotes healthy chewing. You're so cute, William. I tried touching his ears, and it seems very sensitive around there. Yeah, I don't know if they like that. I was petting him like this when I was holding him in the car. Look at his cute tail. He's very cute. Here he is compared to a water bottle.
size. In fact, he's he's about the length of a water bottle. It's an hour and 15 minutes home, so I don't know when the last time she fed him. So he may not have to he may not be hungry or whatever, but he's got some fresh water. All of this new foods and stuff that we got. Daddy wanted me to remind you, remind me not to keep you up late. Isn't he cute? It's a cute boy, William. This is William. Yeah, I love his hair. Dwarf lion head. Six weeks old. Plus, I'm sure once he's in um, his container, and settle down, he'll eat. William, you want some of this Timothy hay? You want some Timothy hay? Here. You want some? Smell this? Look, it's a cute. Some Timothy hay on your fur. Yeah, there you go. Put some water. Hi, William. He's so cute. He's so cute. Yeah, he's a cute boy. Hi. Yeah, you can see his eyes. <laughs> I'm sure once he feels more comfortable, he'll eat and drink. Hi. Hi, William.
looks like he can barely walk. He's not using his back legs. Oh, he is. Barely. <laughs> he looks like Bella when she's trying to crawl on the ground. I'm just a little guy. Plus, I'm not sure how big of an area he had to run around in. Bella's trying to get in. His long um, whiskers. Once he it gets introduced to Emma, hopefully she won't eat them. We won't give, we won't let William be around the dogs unless we're positive they're not going to hurt him. It would be very slow introduction. When his cage comes, he'll have a water bottle. Okay. <laughs> like this? Hey, are you? Can you tell it was me? I was petting you in the car. Some yummy treats for you. Yeah. I think they're like any other kind of animal. You just have to slow movements. Ten thirty. You can leave whenever you're ready. No, it's the time. Oh. Not. It's not actually ten thirty. How long is this video so far? 10.30. Oh, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. It's only 10.14. You can stop it for right now. There we go. We're just going to watch William eat. Just kind of letting him do his own thing. He likes all the food that we bought him. and treats. We bought him a bag of Timothy hay. We bought him a bag of rabbit forage mix salad. We bought him the Vita Prima Complete Nutrition Young Rabbit Food. That's what he's chomping on right now. I put some right here. He absolutely loves this chewy thing. I was trying to hold it for him, and he ripped it <laughs> out of my hand. He loves it. We've got his salt, his pink Himalayan salt 
um, in between the two dishes. I hope he figures out this is water. I keep trying to dip my finger and let him know. His whiskers have touched it, so... Um, but his other food dish has the Timothy hay, the salad, and the food all mixed in together. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but when his cage comes Friday, um, his cage has a specific spot just for the hay, but I don't think it's going to hurt um, right now with it all being mixed. And it has some of the other thing had these carrot, these really large carrot chips. I had to cut them down because he is just a young bunny. I'm pushing that down towards him. So he can get it. I'm glad you like your food. Yeah, I'm so happy. Oh, oh yeah, that's your water. Oh, get it. Honey, look. I know his whisker feels that it's, I'm sure he'll get it. so pretty, William. Hi, William. He has been handled from the people we adopted him from, so he's not skittish. He was a little skittish when I went to pick him up to make sure the dogs, because we heard the dogs scratching on the door. But I held him and he's fine. So pretty. Yeah. Just kind of want to let him uh, you know, walk around if he wants. I think the biggest concern for me is um, making sure he eats. You want that? You want that? <laughs> I feel like I did a good job picking out these chewy treats for him. I got all, all kinds of stuff. I mean, we spent... Um, over $200. Paul got an excellent deal on the cage. He bought him a very nice deluxe cage. It was only $104 on Amazon. We went to the pet store and for the exact same cage they're charging $160. So we really feel like we got a good deal. I mean super nice. Um, that'll be here Friday. We we weren't planning on picking him up till Friday, but we picked him up earlier because the weather was nice. But I have a playpen I'm going to clean out, and he can use that. Um, and then we spent $100 on um, Timothy Hay, that young salad mix, his food, his bedding, toys, a cute little play set, um, the salt block. Like I said, I'll, I'll make a video showing everything that we bought for him. He's very spoiled. He's going to be very spoiled when he sees everything that we bought for him. Yeah. And like I said, we're not going to introduce the dogs to him until we want to give him some time. We do not want him to be scared or stressed. So we will take that very slow. We're up in the music room right now with this blanket, and that's a towel that I carried him in in the car. I am going to take uh, one of my shirts uh, that I wore overnight and put it down on the blanket so he can smell me get my scent because that's what one of the rabbit things talked about. So we're going to do that. Hi, William. William. You want to some water? Look. 
some water? He hasn't ventured out much walking-wise. He's been staying by his food, which I can't blame him for wanting to stick by all of his food. He loves that. Here, I'll move that out of your way so you can get to your treats, I mean your actual pellets. I'm going to continue to use this silicone thing because it's got a lid, a lip that kind of keeps things contained. And I think he likes it. Excuse me, like I said, in the, it's lower down because he is young. I didn't want to have to present him with big dishes, the ones that, you know, wouldn't tip over where this sits down in the silicone. I think this will work best for him. And once he gets his cage, I'll hang this salt lick for him. But we did get some hanging toys for him that he can chew on. Different things. Oh, I don't know how much more I can record because I need to charge my phone. Once I find out where Samuel's phone charges, I'll charge mine. All right, I'm going to stop it right here because I definitely need to charge my phone. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos of William. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.